Hi, it's Jimmy, and you've joined me at the Nathalia Golf Club. Now, this is a nice little community course. It's nine holes with alternate tee boxes to get 18 in. It costs $20 to play, and it's volunteer run. Now, today, you're not going to hear much from me. It's all going to be past Jimmy. This whole video is based around what thoughts go through a high handicapper's head. So hopefully, you're able to see what I think of before I hit the ball, as I hit the ball, and what I'm looking at, because I try to forget everything in the past and move on to what's in front of me. Now, this is enough of me talking now. You can already see I'm a couple of shots in, so I'm going to hand you over to me back in, well, I think this was March or something like that, and uh, he'll take it from there. As always, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you want. I don't really care. It's up to you. Hopefully, you have fun, and hopefully, together, we can get better at golf. Thank you very much. I didn't quite get all of that. Oh, I've got a kick to the left. But if I'm honest, I can't see the flag. I don't know where it is, um, but I can see the 150 marker, so I'm going with my hybrid here. Uh, yeah, I can see the green, it's very green down there. Hybrid should get me there. Always goes left, this club. Always goes left. All right, wasn't too bad. Uh, probably 30 meters away. Little 56. Looks like it's a very small green. Oh, just straight over the back. Straight over the back. Oh, it stopped okay. That's all right. All right, the greens are very clovery, uh, which to me would say they'd be very slow. Um, yeah, I'm still going 56 again, Cobsy, don't, don't at me, bro. I just don't know the pace of all this sort of stuff yet, so... I just want to pop up a 56. And then, hopefully one putt. There we go. That's okay. Okay, so... I don't know if this is going to bump and roll, it looks pretty rough. Um, I'm just going to go left edge. Granted, I hit it on my line. I hope that it'll come back. You know what? I've changed my mind. It does look pretty rough. I'm just going to go straight at the hole. Straight at the hole. All right. So that's a six. Okay, hole two. It's a 120 meter par three. Um, this is not one of those fake TikTok things where I'm choosing pitching wedge and I say I hit my pitching wedge that far. I actually want to be short of a hole. Um, so I'm not going to have an uphill putt. So I'm, I'm hoping it'll hit this about 110. Uh, maybe 115 if I'm lucky. Doesn't matter how far you hit it if you miss the green. But they look like small greens. Hopefully the sun isn't blinding the camera too much. Um, the ball is sitting right down in this cabbage. So, I'm not doing a bump and run again. I'm going to go 56 degree. I ended up exactly pin high, so I had the right club. I just want to pop it up and just putt. Just get me a putt. Oh, it worked out okay. It's up and I'm putting. That was the goal. Alright, so, very dewy. Um, it would be, it'd only be just past 8 o'clock in the morning. No one's around but a few tractors because there's plenty of farmland around here. Uh, a little bit further away than what I wanted but I just wanted to be putting. So I'll hit it a little bit firm. Should drop that way. Or it'll just stay dead straight. All right, so four is still, geez, look how far I sink. Anyway, four is still a par. So normally at these volunteer on golf courses, I try and avoid hitting driver just because I don't know what danger is around. And it looks like if I'm in this tree line, it's no good. Left, it looks a bit hard to find, but the fairway looks kind of wide and I have been hitting my driver really well lately. So I'm gonna try and go over this tree, the one that fell down and uh, we'll just see where we end up. And this will quickly determine if I continue hitting driver or not.
Okay, I hit that really well. Look at a 100 meters into the flag, it's a 320 meter hole, so I hit that about 220. Um, all right, so pitching wedge here. Nice controlled tempo, try and get it on the green this time. No, nope, that's very short. Ah, I should have known that was going to happen. You're not allowed to hit two good shots in a row. Um, let's give this a go. Little eight iron. Nope, it's too soft there. Too soft. All right, let me get another ball and I'll do how I normally play it. Given the lie and where the ball was, it was sort of sitting down a bit. Cool. Um, I'd be going 56 again normally, but I really want to try and get this bump and run working. I just think I was just too far away that time. Ah, oh, short too. Never mind. No matter what I did, I was damned if I did, damned if I didn't. Still fluffy. I don't think this is a bump and run course. I think this is just to get it on the green course. Wow. Alright, so after an absolute bomb of a drive, we're just going to get a five, which is still par for me, but yeah, four shots in 100 metres is not good. Oh, this is 370 metres, and it's tight. I left my golf buggy all the way down there, which is how much confidence I've got that my driver's good these days. There's no pocket balls, no nothing. My driver's just been just been playing well. That's why I don't bring a pocket ball anymore. So once again, I've hit it 220. Um, all right, knowing that this always goes left, I'm aiming at the slightly slanted green tree. I'll put an arrow thing to it. Um, and if it comes around left like it normally does, it's on the green. If it stays straight, it's not a bad miss from there because the pin's on the other side. All right, came around left. And it is just rolling up. That's puttable, just on the fringe. Okay, this would be a bump and run. I've got about a meter and a half of rough stuff to clear and plenty of uh, Plenty of room on the green. Plenty of room on the green, so. Have been practicing these at Shep. At Shep, the greens roll out a little bit quicker than here, but it might get a skid for its first. Anyway, look, no point talking about it. I'll just, just do what I can. Jesus. Not the play. All right, while we're at it, while we're at it, while we're doing these things. All right, we're sitting down here. Again, just to what I normally do, which is why I should probably stick to what I practice and what I normally do. Still went past the hole, but nearly went in the hole. Oh no, nearly putted with my glove on. Well, that bounced and hopped and everything, but anyway, that's a four. All right, hole five, it's 332 meters, and why would I have any other club in my hand? Straight as, 332. All right, 
Just another copy paste from the last two holes. Thank you. It's a little bit fady, but it's still in play and it is uh, really nice. That is bouncing a mile. Okay, slightly awkward shot because normally I like going pitching wedge, but I'm scared of that tree. So I'm 110 to the actual flag. It's about 100 meters to the middle. I'm going to go for a chippy eight iron, just a little bit and just see if I can get it to run up there um, and get a putter on the ball, that'd be great. That was not what I had planned, but that's okay. Look, it's just, it's okay. Look, what am I gonna do about it? I can't change it, that's okay. Uh, no point even entertaining any other club other than pitching wedge. Wait, other than my 56 degree. Jeez, I've stuffed that up. No point trying to hit any other club apart from my 56 degree. There we go. Um, yeah, control distances, got a bit of an idea. Let's pop it up a little bit, land soft, and get putter on it. Oh, that nearly bounced in the hole too. All right, get putter on it. That's what we wanted, get putter on it. Okay, let's see if we can go for another one putt. Another lengthy. So where the camera is, there's a little bit of a dip down, which is where the ball hit, kicked forward. Uh, from this side, it goes back towards the hole a little bit. And if it drops down, um, yeah, starting right, going left, that's great. Now when I'm looking over the ball this way, I reckon it goes the other way. Uh, one thing I've learned from these greens so far is just hit it at the hole and whatever happens, happens. So. We'll just hit it out the hole. I, I mean, like, hit it at the hole. I smashed it past the hole. <laughs> that is uh, great. Look how far away I am. The pace of the greens got me there. This is still for a five, which is still for my par. Again, I felt like I needed to smash it. I'm keeping the camera there. Okay. Oh, three putts. So putting is the one part of my game that I can really improve. Um, I'm now a 23 handicap and not a 26. Um, you can see what's going on there is going okay. It's on the greens, no good. All right, sorry if this is the only um, hole that's going to be into the sun, but hopefully I position, positioned the camera in a good enough spot. Um, this is hole six. Uh, on hole six is in, in, in 12, we eat fruit. All right, so 160. Um, Hybrid won't be enough to get there. Five wood will go too far. Um, five and six iron are nowhere at the moment. So I'm gonna go hybrid. I'm gonna to aim to the left-hand side again. And I'm actually probably gonna swing it a bit harder than I normally do. I normally go a nice controlled swing. Um, we'll just go a bit harder and see what happens. Oh, that's not what was supposed to happen. So it went a bit harder, and it went straight up. All right, all right, sorry about the sun. I'll try and make it quick. I really shouldn't be in this position. Uh, nine iron. Is nine iron enough? Now I can't see that in the sun. Just wait for it to come down. Nine iron is absolutely enough. We're on the green. Okay, holes here. I don't know if you can tell, you probably can't tell from up there, but I had some raz. Um, I don't know, can you call it raz? That's doing nothing to the green. Can you call it raz if it just hit the downslope and came down? But it rolled a good three meters. It is a severe slope though. 
Okay, I can't see, it's, it, the sun's in my eyes. Let's not blow this one past like we did the last one and give ourselves a chance at a proper, proper score. What was that? What was that? What was that? Uh, for four, which is my par in this hole. What was that? Two, three putts in a row. All right, we're a long way back again. Um, another 320 meter par four. This one goes, oh, probably should have brought a longer tee. I can make that work. Um, this one has a slight dog leg right, so if, you, if I'm being aggressive, it's over the tree where my bag is. Uh, but I just want to be fairway. Knowing that sometimes my ball comes off the face a little right and goes straight, it might go that way anyway, but I'm not aiming for that. Um, with a tee a little bit lower, I'm probably going to try and cut it a bit. I didn't bring another tee. I normally have a tee up a bit higher, so we'll see what we can do here. Oh, that worked out okay. Um, yeah, I've just got a six iron. I just want to sort of chip something around and keep it low underneath that tree. Hopefully I can keep it low. Yep. Might have had too much turn on it. No, that's okay. It actually straightened up after it bounced for a little bit. And we can pitch onto the green. All right, yet another little pitchy shot. These volunteer run courses are often quite tricky because the greens are small. Um, in this case, it's, there's really no fringe. The fringe is essentially very, very thick grass. So there's no running it up, it's just getting it on. Oh, I thought that was enough. Okay, give us a little bump here. All right, that's good. Might actually make a one putt. Okay, so if your ball is on the shadow, that's your line. Oh, this is a short par five. It's 460 meters. So, oh, this is hard ground. Problem last time was that my tee was too low. Oh no. No, we're good. Okay, straight down, right hand side of those trees, straight in front of the next tee box in front of us. That'd be a good spot. That is exactly what I just described. Exactly what I just described. Where'd my tee go? Backwards. All right, quite a nice drive. Um, just ended up on the right hand side. I'm going three wood now. Aiming up down the left, cutting it back right. Oh, or just going right over the trees. All right, so that didn't end up in a nice spot. Got no other choice but to chip it out sideways. Might have run too far. Well, the chip out sideways went a bit too far. I've got 95 meters in, but I can't uh, can't get a full swing, so I'm just going to go for a little chippy nine iron. Oh, yeah. Probably could have gone with an extra. 
club given how impeded the backswing was. Look at this, another little pitchy on. Another pitchy. Let's get this one on instead of the fringe lark, like the last hole. Okay, okay. Going straight at the hole was a good strategy for the first few holes, but don't know about this one. Ah, okay, okay. Um, I think that's just how I hit it. I don't think the ball moved. I think it was just uh, by the line, it moves slightly. Two putt. Okay, hole nine. We're 140 meters. I think it's into win, and for no other reason other than I want to, I'm going to hit seven iron, which is not usually a seven iron hole. I say that, I've never played it here before, but let's just say if this hole was at Shepparton, I wouldn't be hitting seven iron. But the greens are a small target and you're chipping anyway, so just wanted to give it a go. All right, seven iron, 140, hole nine. Had to be short by a mile. All right, one last little pitch with the 56 into the sun. Slightly tight alive, but that's okay. It'll probably come out a little bit lower than the other ones. And it did come out lower and it went straight over the back. I know these things, but I don't adjust. It's kind of annoying. Uh, it's just over the back. I haven't got the putter out yet. That's how confident I am. I'll get it close. It's dried out a bit more. I've been playing this shot all day. To tap in range. To tap in range. That's probably a little bit too far for the wedge, but I'm gonna do it. There we go. Oh. So that's nine holes at Nathalia Golf Club.